Hi friends, I have another craft for you today. Today we are going to make these birch candles. Aren't they cute? This is a uh, candle from Dollar Tree. Just these one little candles. And we're making it look like it's birch wood. Doesn't it look like birch? So cute. Let me show you how easy that is to do. So we need the candle. We need a um, toothpick. I'm not sure what we're going to do with the toothpick. We need some brown paint and some white paint. Okay, we a paper towel, a fork. We need a fork. So, let me this down. Pull this up here. All right, so let me show you how this works. Here's the candle. Just took the plastic off, as you saw. I'm gonna use a paper plate to protect my space. So this is what we need the fork for. We are making little marks in our candle that looks like, you know, the outside of the bark of a, of a birch tree branch or limb. So I am going all the way around. I know you can't see this great. But I'll show you here in just a second. So I'm just scraping off parts of the wax. And that is what makes these lines right here. So I know you can't really see that. But this looks like this without the paint in it. That's what the paint's for. Okay, our next step is to get brown paint. I just have, what do I have? Burnt umber apple barrel. And I have a sponge brush that I always recycle. And you are going to paint it brown. I already have some of this on here. See, gonna paint it brown. So you want to make sure that it gets in the in the crevices that we just created. So you're painting all the way around. Now you can see some of my crevices, can't you? I think. So you're painting all the way around, but you want to make sure with your spongy brush that you get it inside the crevices that we just created. That's what's going to make it look like a birch tree. And I guess once you do this, if you don't, if you want more lines or something, you can always add that in. So I'm painting all the way around, as you see, and I'm just using the sponge in to make sure that I am in there good. All the way around. Okay, now I'm finished with that brush. Now I'm going to take a paper towel and I'm going to wipe it off. See? Now you're taking off most of this brown paint. But as you can see, we have like a glaze, right? A glaze of brown paint. So I'm getting the bulk of it off. But I'm leaving it in those crevices. Just like this. Great. And then I'm going to dry it a little bit. You can let that air dry, but just for our purposes, I want to speed this up a little bit. Because now we're dry. Yep, we're dry. See how fast that dries? Want to make sure your crevices are good and dry. 
So just let it dry for a little bit. Grab another brush, and this is for the white. It could be white. I'm using Waverly White, but um, it could be Ivory. That would be pretty. Um, then there's um, Plaster, whatever. Whatever you have at home. I think, I'm not positive if I used white or, I'm thinking I used white on this one, so we'll see. So now we're gonna do the same thing with the white. We're gonna put it on the candle. The only thing, difference is we are going to use the toothpick to dig out some of the crevices so we can see the brown. So I am going to lightly put this around, but not all over the place. See? On this first one, I'll show you the difference. On this first one, I put a little more than I really wanted on there, but it's too late by that time. Um, you know how on a birch limb or a tree, you see some of the bark coming off. That's what I'm trying to accomplish with this one. So I didn't put a much on there, right? Got my brush, I mean, got my paper towel. I'm gonna wipe this off. And I'll show you what the difference looks like between the two. So here's the first one. See how I changed it up a little bit? This one, I've got pretty consistent white all the way around, but you can definitely see through it to the brown. That's what it'll look like if you, if you paint it like solid. You saw me do this one more sporadically, and it gives it uh, a little more of the bark showing through, the wood showing through. Then, I just get my toothpick, and anywhere in these crevices, that I have, well, what in the, what in the world? Uh, white paint, I'm just gonna dig it out of there. Now, see how when I did the brown paint, I had to push to get it in the crevices, right? I was super careful to just go light over top with the white, so I'm not having to do a whole lot with my toothpick, but you'll see, that's it. So, I'm going to dry this off just a little bit. It'll take a second. Sure don't want to melt my, melt my candle. And that's it. Dry it to the touch. My girl's got me a heat gun for Christmas so I could see it my crafts. Isn't that awesome? So then I just have some jute. So I'm gonna pull out some jute and you can you could decorate this any way you want to, but I want it kind of simple. So I am just gonna take some jute and wrap it around maybe a couple of times. This is raffia, this is not jute. I like jute too, that would be cute, but I am today using raffia, not jute. And there you have it, isn't that cute? So all I need to do is set these up on maybe a candle stand and decorate my mantle with it and they'll be gorgeous. That's it! Super easy craft, lots of fun, but doesn't that look so cute? It looks so cute. So hopefully you'll make one yourself. And I hope you had a good time. We'll see you next time. Bye.